Well, y'all, welcome back. Uh, we are getting on the road for a long trip here. I uh, just stopped to fill up fuel, uh, just hitting the road. I'm gonna reset my trip odometer actually right now before I forget about that. I know somebody's gonna be like, dude, you got a check engine light? Yeah, the two needs got over since I put the long tubes on. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just getting, uh, it's just reading a little funny because of the long tubes but it's perfectly fine. So we are gonna be on the road for two weeks at a minimum, possibly three weeks. Uh, and today I am like running completely behind. This morning I installed that antenna up there. If you guys missed the last video, I would recommend checking that out. Uh, and then I've got like a five and a half hour drive today. So by the time we get there, it may already be dark, which sucks. How much did that take? $60 hairs. Not too shabby. Um, so I'm gonna try to jam. Uh, I'm gonna take the interstate about halfway. It's the most I can take to get to where I'm going tonight and all that. I need to run inside and grab some lunch because I have not eaten anything today. And then we'll hit the road. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, crusty old gas station cheeseburger, and I've got my today's destination in the GPS. Uh, five hours and two minutes. And of course I'm an idiot. I forgot that I'm gonna go back an hour through time zone, so I'm like rushing and rushing, cause, I don't know, sunsets at like 8.30, and I figured I'd be there at like 7.30 with gas stops, 7.38, but since we've got an hour, uh, saying I'd be there at 610 so I'm gonna hop on the interstate here I'll be on the interstate I think for like three hours of this trip and then we'll hop off and uh, hit the two lanes but here we go all right guys we are on the interstate and uh, I have no idea, dude. I'm so unprepared for this trip. I'm always unprepared for these trips. No matter how much planning I do, I'm always running behind schedule. Uh, and yeah, like whatever. There's always that nervousness of when you hit the road for something long like this. And uh, we'll see what happens. I got a bunch of junk. I did not bring any fishing poles. I could have probably fished where I'm at this evening, but once I was getting ready to leave and I figured I wouldn't be there until after dark, I decided not to grab any. Uh, and then the rest of it will be out of state and not really, probably not in prime fishing spots. Uh, maybe we'll pick up a rod on the way somewhere, uh, but I didn't bring any, so we'll see how this trip all goes. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Stay tuned, y'all. Those would be fun. so far uh, maybe about three hours and I'm going through the town of Holdridge Nebraska this might be the biggest town that I'll be in for a while but they've got what's called an Orschlands uh, which is like a farm and home store so I'm gonna stop there and see if they've got a fishing pole um, wish me luck
Christian boy. Found him. This means something simple. Thank God it's gonna be a hit. Comes with stuff. I mean, it's the best all in one thing they got. I think I should be able to catch something with this tonight. Maybe. It's got a line on it. We're good to go. All right, we're gonna get some extra hooks and jigs and stuff, but hey, check out these little dudes. Man, if I was a little more crazy, I'd just take one on the road trip with me, but it's probably not appropriate. okay since I don't I didn't take it out of the package to check it I guess uh, I wouldn't have been able to it's all sealed shut but we have a fishing pole because my dummy dum dum self did not grab one out of the basement but it'll be all right let's get back on the road um, so far so good satisfied with that cell booster I've had like full bars this entire entire way so far uh, hopefully we're not shaking too much I know that once we get to where we're going there's probably not going to be any signal and we'll test it by shutting it on shutting it off and turning it back on <coughs> two and a half hours 142 more miles but we should be able to, uh, oh, I just filled up my tank. Head west on US 34 West, US 6 West toward Maberly Street. Oh, I love that forest service color. For you guys that don't know, a lot of the like U.S. national forest in places like that. Send it. That's the color of their trucks, and I think it's neat. And the only way, as far as I know, the only way you can get one is by buying a one of theirs used from like an auction or something you can't order that color as far as i know but, all right we are back on the road i'll see you guys a little bit farther down the road i suppose look at all those deer get out of the road dude he's like just running down the road This road is awesome though. Look at them trees, boy! to a pretty rad spot the lake behind me here look at that gorgeous uh, and surprisingly there's quite a few people here I can I thought way way out in the I guess I would call this probably the armpit of Nebraska I'm in the uh, southwesternmost campground in Nebraska right now so uh, I figured there wouldn't be very many people here but I just met a guy he's from this like uh, what is it Wisconsin maybe 
on his way west and then there's a couple other people camped on the other side of the lake there was a couple guys fishing when i pulled in They're out here in a boat and they said they've caught a couple of yellow perch and a bunch of trout because there's a fish hatchery up the road also and trout stockings are still taking place but uh, i'm gonna try to fish for a little while we'll see it's almost eight o'clock already i think yeah it's eight seven fifty three no great trees right here to hang my hammock up at. They only have the one tree. If I wanted to go up there, I could definitely do it, but I prefer to be right by the water if possible. So I'm gonna get this rod baited up, cast around for a little bit, see if I can catch something. I do have some worms in the cooler too, so we can use those, but we'll just start with this, the old Zebco. As long as I, I mean, it should work. I'll just say that. My skills are, are what's going to be that won't allow it to work. This looks like a really short rod. And they don't actually give you a tackle box, I thought they did. Looks like it's already cracked. Sweet. First thread. Oh, that feels terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Like I should be kind of some kind of fishing snob considering how often I don't fish. whole thing feels like it's worth five dollars not thirty dollars but if you can hear somebody talking that's the other YouTube guy I'll drop his channel link down below he does like night photography stuff yeah this thing sounds terrible even Whatever it'll work. Can't be picky, picky about it, right? I'm just... Start with one of these little jigs. Cast around a jig for a little while. If that doesn't work for us, we can. Uh, Try something else. What do we go with? We're just going to go with the old chartreuse. Good enough. There we go. This thing is trash, dude. Absolute trash. Wasted my money on this, I feel like. Whatever. Let's give it a shot. to a spinning rod. <laughs> Just gonna be me complaining for 20 minutes until I give up. Well, 
The rod is junk. I'll tell you that straight up, but catches fish. Uh, a little bit too small. I'm not going to waste my time trying to clean this, but maybe if I caught a yellow perch, it was a little bit bigger than this dude, but hey, bro. He's trying to kill himself. All right, get him back in the water. Be nice if I could get out on that thing, but I'd have to get wet to do so. Yeah, it just gets shallower the farther back this way that you go. But we'll try one more spot over here. cast what I get Is that a perch oh it's a little crappie there we go look at that guy that's not a bad fish dude I could eat that it's not a bad size get a couple of fillets off of that it's eight o'clock Ah, do I, do I cook this dude up? We'll keep him. We'll cook him. Alright. Let's see if we can do that again. One's a little smaller, but there's two crappie. Oh, oh, oh. Do we keep this guy? I think he's a little too small. We'll toss him, toss him back over this way. Stay away from those guys. Tell them, tell your brother to bite though. Next cast. That one seems a little better. That one's bigger. Boom, there we go. I think I'll fish for a little bit longer, but I think two's gonna be enough for me. Man, not too shabby. Stoked on the, the world's crappiest rod. Don't go back in the water. One more try. They're like loaded up right in one spot. Sometimes you just gotta move 20 feet. Here we go, another one. I like load it up right there. That's even bigger. That's the biggest one so far. And the hook just fell out. Bam, look at that guy. That's a solid one. Uh, not super big, but there we go. Nice crappie. Do I want to clean three fish or do I want to clean two fish? How greedy am I though is really how, how, how hungry am I? I 
we'll keep this one. This will be the last one. I'm just gonna call it at this point because uh, the sun is gonna go down and I'm, it's gonna be dark and I still gotta clean these guys up real quick. So let's get these guys cleaned. There we go. Not too bad for like 20 minutes of casting. I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, let's hope I have my fillet knife in here. Uh, amongst all of my junk. come in handy. These were sent in during a live stream. Rubber gloves. I'm definitely going to use a pair of these. Uh, keep my hands a whole lot cleaner while I clean these guys. There we go. Now, since YouTube is kind of iffy on, uh, Doing stuff like this and showing blood, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the camera off. I'll turn it off while I do this. And then, we'll get these fish cooked up. I could probably bring a bigger cutting board. Ooh, I need something to put the fish in. I'm not even ready. Alright, fire is going. Fish are all cleaned up. Got a bit of meat on there. I guess if you guys can see that. The gloves. The gloves were meant. I don't know why I, I turned the right way. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner and start bringing something like that with me. Can you guys see that sunset though? Uh, the clouds look cool. But I can't see the sun anymore. Well, while we wait for that fire to kind of get going, because we'll just use that to cook, might as well crack myself open a brew and I grab something. I haven't had one of these in quite a while. But I got a tall boy Estella. And let me show you this too. So somebody sent me this months ago, and I don't know if I ever used it on a video, uh, but it's a it's like a double koozie. You put two cans in there so that when you're done with your first can, you can have the second one. If you're somewhere where it's just going to be easier to carry around too. But I should be able to shove this in there, and it's a little small, but we'll make it fit. So Stella Anno 1366. Premium lager beer brewed in the USA under strict supervision of the brewmasters from Uven, Belgium for uncompromising quality. It's going to be dark before I get that fish going. It's all right. I'll shove her all the way down in there. It's like perfect fit. Dude, that'd be perfect if you just wanted to take out like a tall boy with you if you were going hiking somewhere and camping and that's all you're going to take, bam, you got it in a koozie. But we can go ahead and roll this lip down a little bit. I use gloves, but I can still smell fish on my hands for some reason. Probably from handling them prior to cutting them up. There we go, dude. Look at that big old koozie. Uh, yeah. Cheers, y'all. Couldn't ask for 
for a better outcome of this. I haven't had much confidence lately fishing because I haven't been fishing near as much as I used to. And then uh, when I was looking at my route for this trip, I guess I'm going to Overland Expo in Flagstaff if I didn't say that at some point in the video. Uh, I spotted this spot on maps, I spotted this spot on maps. I found this spot on Google Maps and it's out in the middle of nowhere. So I really, I'm really surprised that there's people here. Uh, but I knew that the fishing would be decent because this place can't get fished out that often. Not like the local Metro Omaha lakes like we have. And the fact that the fish hatchery is literally right up the road. So I'm probably giving away too much information. You guys are gonna be able to figure it out. That's all right. And we've got something cool to go check out in the morning before I end the video also. So yeah, stoked on this one. A little bit of crappie for dinner. I better, better get myself ready for that. Well, I spilled my beer moving the table. Still got most of it, but that kind of sucks. Put the old sledgehammer back in the box. Toss that back in the truck. Well, y'all, it's gotten dark because I'm an idiot and I just, instead of cooking the fish, in a timely manner like I should have. I don't know if you guys can even see, uh, I moved that antenna to the back. Uh, just cause I think it looks better, it can fold forward. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's get to cooking something. I gotta get some lights. Yeah, I waited too long. All right y'all, so I'm really not, uh, even in the middle of nowhere I can still hear a train. Got the fish here. I'm really not prepared to do any like, type of grand catch and cook or anything because I didn't really bring anything with me appropriate. Um, I've got a second tote here full of junk. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that at all. A um, bunch of crap in here. We'll have to give these a shot at some point during the trip. I have some extra tortillas left. We've got oil. Uh, I think. Fritos with it, or we do have red beans and rice. I know you guys are probably screaming for the red beans and rice, but let me shut that off. But if I do that, that means that I have to dirty up another pan. And I don't want to do two pans if I don't have to, because uh, I'll have to break out the skillet because this. This here is the only small pan that I've got with me anyways. And I could just pour a little oil in this pan and that'll work perfectly. Um, this other one on the bottom is not. Yeah, we're just going to keep it simple. Fish and Fritos. But I do have some hot sauce on here. Got for salts. All right, we're gonna use some of this sauce that you guys can't see because we got a light on back here. Um, this is Alice Cooper's. 
welcome to my nightmare. Oh, it's mild hot sauce. Um, we're going to use some of this. We'll wash the fish in that because I don't have any. Um, where's my breading at? Better make sure I got that. There we go. And we'll be using this fish fry. But we'll wash the, uh, hold on a second, do I have something else? That might have? Yeah, we'll just keep it simple. Okay, so we'll wash the fish in, uh, we're like dump a bunch of this hot sauce in there to coat the fish up and then we'll dump it in a second bag with that fish fry. This will be the easiest way to do it. Uh, since I don't have anything else to wash the fish with, like most of the time you'd use like eggs or something. All right, in the bag. So it shouldn't be too bad. Shape, get, it, get it all nice and coated. Let it soak in a little bit. Get nice and spicy for you. Should probably cut these up into chunks. Really probably should cut them them into chunks but it'll be all right just have to have to do it how we do it Should probably get this oil on maybe this is why I don't do catch and cooks very often <laughs> so much going on I'm more of a simple guy crispy fish fry Transfer bags. Well, why don't I get this on the fire first? We start it. How's it going? Doing any filming? Yeah, since the clouds cleared out. I caught myself a few fish, so. Oh yeah. Getting ready to do a little bit. Oh, of... you filming? Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. I already told them that I met you. Oh yeah. Oh, that is one hell of a light. That is Harbor Freight. Oh yeah. USB rechargeable. I just picked it up, but it's magnetic, so it's nice. That oh, it, dude, I love those. Yeah. 
I got a question for you though. What's that? How much longer do you think you'll be you'll have it on? Uh, let me get this cooked and I'll get everything shut off. Sweet. I was hoping that I wasn't bothering you. It's a little bright. Can you see it? You can actually oh, yeah. pick it oh, up yeah. with your you're, stuff? You're like right on the corner of my, my frame. Okay. For what I have. Um, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue, but I'm curious what the what it'll look like once it turns off. Give me like, are but, you uh, running a time lapse already? In about, I was just testing it out right now, but I was planning on doing it from like a, my phone says a 1045 right now, so I don't know if that's accurate or not. Probably. Mine says the same thing. Okay, so I was going to start in about 15 minutes. Okay, let me get this cooked up and so, I can actually, I'll shut that one off. That would With be, this one, probably. No, that one's probably fine. Okay. This thing's like... Put it out there. Yes, <laughs> the first time I've used it. It works well. Yeah, it, it looks great. Like, I would totally use it. But, and I don't want to bug you too much, but it's just like right there. Nope, nope. It's just I, right there. I so, fully understand what you're doing. I'll get it. I appreciate it, man. I'll get her shut off for you. No rush. Because I'm going to be going till like, 1 a.m. on the time lapse, and then I'm moving over to the big pier... Oh, on the other end of the lake. Yeah, lane. like I'm going to start the time lapse and I'm going to go back to sleep. Um, and then I'll move in to the pier and then I'm going to do a 180 pano over the oh, pier. Okay, so. that'll be cool. I found your channel. I had enough signal and I got subscribed. Really? Yes. No way. <laughs> so I'm, I appreciate it. What I'm, yeah. I don't know what it is, but no matter what I do, I can't like, I can't search anything. Like I've tried keywords and tagging and everything and I can never find videos. Uh, your own videos? Yeah, but like my own videos. So mm, I, I mean, know. do you fill up your tag section when you upload it, where you have like five hundred? I try tags? to, but like, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of like how tos for night photography. Oh yeah, there, I mean, so. it's hard to break into it. Yeah, for um, sure. Luckily, um, all right, all right, we've got the. The oil on, and uh, I am gonna try to like chop these up in the bag here a little bit. I should have cubed them a little bit more because they're like full on flats. Should have grabbed another glove. It's all right though. He came over because they turned that bright ass light on and he's doing overnight time lapses of the stars and stuff. Uh, so he asked kindly if I would, or how long I was going to have the light on. I fully understand it, so I shut it off for him. He's, uh, he could have probably taught me how to set my camera up appropriately where I didn't need to run such bright lights. I'm getting a little bit better at it. I adjusted this a little bit more. Hopefully it looks a little better than usual, but there we go. Get this slap hot sauce off the table before I screw it up. heated up in there. But you just get a nice air pocket in your bag with all your breading. Shake it up. All right, it's going. Maybe three rounds. It's all falling apart on me. It's all right. These have had plenty of time. Yeah, the fish itself is just falling apart in here.
All right, y'all, we've made it into the rig. I chose to come inside. Wanted to shut the lights off, because I know that guy is trying to film a video, and he needs darkness. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're in an area of our state where, uh, let me get a little bit more light, so I have some light on my face, maybe. Still haven't done anything with those lights up there but here we go uh, we're in an area of the state where they do like stargazing stuff like legitimately it is pitch black outside right now and you can see millions of stars uh, I am not good enough to show you that maybe we'll work on that but I cracked open a Coors light after that Stella since I spilled half of it uh, I dump the oil into the campfire. That's what I usually do with the leftover oil. It's the easiest way to get rid of it. And I left the pan sitting outside. But we've got our fish here. And it looks tasty. There's some breading. The, a lot of the breading fell off. And uh, most of the fish fell apart as I was taking it out. But it looks tasty. I could taste the green sauce and just that piece of breading that I ate. Uh, and I've got plenty of fish here, but we'll do fish and some Fritos. I should have prepared a little bit better. But I am, I don't know why I opened both of these, but I am not very good at catching cooks. Uh, I don't do them very often anymore. And many times when I used to do them, I would take the fish home and cook them and it was much easier to do that but there we go nice piece of crispy flaky fish mm. you can definitely definitely taste the sauce it all just fell apart seems like it's been a while since i've caught any crappie probably since the Man, was the last time I caught crappie was the ice fishing trip up north with everybody in the trailer. We'll dump a little bit more of the sauce on there. Let's see what it's about. See how hot it is this way. There we go. Big old glob of sauce on there. It's still pretty spicy for being a mild sauce. That's probably one of the spicier mild sauces I've had. That's for sure. Great flavor though. If I would have been smarter, I would have brought like some lettuce or some coleslaw or something. I could have made fish tacos. I still have tortilla shells. Or fish sandwiches. I have hot dog buns in there. I could have made little fish fish sandwiches with that, but mm. yeah, that's a good sauce. I've become a big fan of like Verde, the green sauces lately. Well, I got my dinner all cleaned up. It was pretty tasty. Stoked on the catch and cook. Of course, my bag with my all my clothes are up front. So I don't have pajama pants, but I do have some shorts that I'll probably throw on. But I'm going to get a movie going. I should go to bed. It's 11.51. I definitely should go to bed. But uh, I'm going to watch a movie. quickly downloaded a few things today as I was trying to get ready and leave the house because I was running way behind schedule. We'll see what I got here. All right, so I'm gonna watch an older movie. Uh, this one looked interesting to me and it was one that was recommended to me by Amazon. I'm watching Amazon right now. It's called Terminus. It's from 1987. And it says, uh, an established dystopian sport has drivers of computerized truck driving cross country to a terminus. The lead truck created by Boy Genius is, is uh, 
created by a boy genius is driven by a woman when the computer guidance system fails she ends up in uncharted territories and encounters and encounters leather clad hooded and encounters leather clad hoods who torture her. meanwhile a mysterious doctor seems to have another plan in mind it's a science fiction movie obviously uh but it looks pretty interesting uh let's see I do not recognize any of the names, but I feel like this girl, I feel like I recognize her from something older back in the day. But anyways, yeah, Terminus. Give this a whirl. It's got good reviews too. Well, good morning, y'all. Uh, I woke up probably about an hour ago and uh, been sitting here editing a video on the old laptop. That's saving right now, though, so we should be able to get that one out. Today. Hopefully, it's the Wee Boost video, so it's the last one. And I'll be testing the Wee Boost, I guess, to see if I can get that uploaded while I'm driving, but. That's done, so I'm gonna make some coffee and then try not to spill it all over my laptop. And then we'll probably just hit the road right away because I do have something else that I wanna show you guys this morning before I end the video. So, I'm just gonna go with some instant folders, I think, because I think that's all I've got. I guess I do have all of this, but one bag of folders left. We're going to do that this morning. And coffee cakes if I get hungry, but I'm not that hungry yet. Beautiful out here. The stars last night were awesome. I got to set my camera game up so I can actually like figure out how to show you guys that stuff. I'm not good with the camera. You'd think, considering it's my job to film myself, that I would know how to use it a little bit better. Oh. Let's see. Current temps. It is 53 outside, 58 inside. You guys can see that at all. I do have the thermometer setting out there on the bumper. That should, that should be good. really humid or like uh, I don't know it was really moist when I woke up in here this morning uh, I did have this window closed all night Ooh. and I had that uh, fan shut off because it was getting kind of chilly in here uh, so lack of airflow did not help the movie last night that movie was weird that was like full-on kind of bad 80s sci-fi but it also is like on the point where it's so bad that it's good uh, and it reminded me of like half of like Mad Max and I don't know dude it was uh, it was definitely a weird movie I would recommend it um, I honestly I can't believe that I had never heard of it before like I wonder if it was a made for TV kind of movie or something but it was great. I would recommend checking that one out, especially if you like like 80s sci-fi or old sci-fi movies, kind of the old bad sci-fi movies. Uh, that's definitely one of them. Oh, 
cold as well. Put my pantalones back on. All right. Well, I got all my junk cleaned up. My video is saved and we're gonna hit the road, but it's gorgeous out here. There's just a couple of geese out there chilling. So many birds. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's a couple people fishing the little piers sticking out. This lake is a lot longer. It doesn't end right there. Hot, Ooh. but it's time to hit the road, y'all. Oh, here, give you a better look at that antenna. Now that I moved it. Yeah, I moved it to the back. I think it looks a little nicer. I honestly, I don't feel like it needs to be quite that tall. Uh, so we'll see. If I were to take the extension off, it would start right here where that little piece ends. So like right there. And then I feel like that would be tall enough. I don't know. I think the Wee Boost people are supposed to probably be at the expo. They were at the last one I was at. Maybe I can just ask them these questions. But, uh, it's still a few days away. I don't know. All right, well, let's do this. I gotta close my tire carrier. Bye bye, Lake. That's a cool road, yo. It's kind of cut in right there. I am out in the middle of nowhere. I thought there was a bigger marker. U.S. Department of the Interior, Bureau of Land Management, East Boy, Colorado, 1990. I think there's another one in here, maybe. Or this thing, yeah, here we go. There we go. And it's got bullet holes in it. Uh, but I'm standing right here, and this is Colorado, this is Nebraska, and this is Kansas. So Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado. Um, and I'll read you a little bit of this sign here. Corner common to Nebraska and Kansas on the Colorado line. The survey of the baseline, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The survey of the baseline of the sixth principal meridian which also marks the boundary between Nebraska and Kansas, was extended from the Alma, Nebraska area to the summit of the Rocky Mountains by Jarrett, Todd, and James Withrow in 1859. They were standing here. It says, in 1869, Oliver N. Caffey surveyed the western boundary of Nebraska and failing to locate the baseline, set the limestone monument 621 feet south of this position. And I wonder if that's there's another thing over there. I'll have to go look. Maybe maybe they left it standing there because it's a st it's a standing stone. Uh, so in 1872, John J. Major surveyed the boundary between Kansas and Colorado, commencing at Chaffer Chaffee's Monument on June 15, 1873. Edwin Burwell intersected the baseline with Chaffee's state line and established the corner of Nebraska and Kansas on the Colorado line. On October 17, 1990, the Bureau of Land Management remounted this tri-state corner. In recognition of those early surveyors, the skills they demonstrated and, hardships they, and the hardships they endured, 
We dedicate this plaque on June 1st, 1991. That's cool. And there's another stone marker here. Like, there's a few of them. There's one there. You can see there's one maybe right there. There's one over there. Yeah. I kind of feel like I should have just camped here last night, but this is private property. So we'll close this gate back up. And might as well drive down there. Looks like plenty of people have done it already. Yeah, look at that though. Just out here, middle of nowhere. I'm in the corners in kind of middle of nowhere, I guess. Could be wrong, but I think there's got to be a marker sitting over here. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> jeez. <sighs> yeah, there is. Cool. says anything uh, there was a number on it at some point something here looks like like a degree symbol that looks like it's been it but I mean that's really weathered and I'm sure like you can see people have carved stuff into it and then there's one more little marker there So, this stuff is really neat. And the reason that I wanted to come here and see this spot is because in a previous video, I checked out the other corner of Nebraska. Let's see, it would have been, it'd be the southeast corner. And there was a marker and stuff there. So that was really cool. I'll link that video down below if you guys want to check that out. And uh, yeah, that's neat. I'm curious if there was a lot more writing on there. Yeah, you can see it says something, something on the side of it. But uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. I am, I don't know if I'm actually standing in Colorado or Kansas or where. Oh, I must be in Kansas right now because that's the proper one up there. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. So sorry for the long delay on this video. Uh, this is where the trip ends. Uh, shortly after this, I, uh, I made it a little farther into Colorado, and then the truck started running absolutely terrible. It developed a large misfire somewhere. I think I have a video of, I can shove that in here really quick. So you can see me trying to start it there a couple of different times. Uh, to get it to start, you have to floor it and pump the gas. Uh, otherwise it won't start. And then anytime you would let off the brake, I have a picture of that. Uh, so if you're driving, first of all, you could barely get it to move from a stoplight or a stop sign. Uh, it was kind of scary uh, in some of the traffic that I ended up in at one point. And then Anytime you would let off the gas, the thing would damn near die and it would start flashing. First, the brakes would barely work at that point uh, because I think there's still like somehow vacuum, like there's, yeah, I mean, it's got a vacuum brake booster on it. So the brakes would barely work. You'd have to just 
jam them to the floor in order to get the truck to stop. Uh, and at that point, the the ABS module would start kicking on, and then it would give me uh, messages to service brakes. It would turn off Stabila track, service traction control, all that nonsense. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't running well. Um, visual inspection didn't show me anything. Like there was no burnt wires, no burnt spark plug wires. Uh, the check engine light was continually for an O2 sensor, so maybe I did potentially burn out an O2 or something like that. Uh, or it could be something a bit more serious, who knows. Uh, but also, another leading factor that sent me home was the uh, these rough roads. The exhaust shifted and was rubbing my, I believe it's rubbing my front drive shaft at this point. I haven't even looked at it. I came home. Uh, I turned around and came home that night, and uh, I have not looked at the truck since. It was it was a big bummer for me. Uh, this was a big, big trip that I had planned out, and my wife and my father-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, uh, and some other family members were all meeting me down there for Overland Expo, and they all ended up making it. Uh, so I sat at home by myself while my wife was out having a good time, uh, attended to Overland Expo, and then they went to the Grand Canyon. And then I'm not looking for any sympathy, guys. Uh, don't take it that way. But I sat home alone on my birthday while they were out there at the Grand Canyon. So I was pretty bummed. So it just got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm just going to take myself a little vacation while I'm at home because sitting at home really is... The vacation for me because I'm usually out doing this stuff um, and yeah we're back at it having not fixed the truck I have not looked at it at all um, so we'll get to that at some point in the future but I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break from the truck because I kind of just want to light it on fire you know so um, yeah the trip did not turn out at all as planned and yeah, it was a big bummer for me, but uh, these things happen. I, I, uh, part of the reason that I didn't get this video out is because I went back and forth in my head so often as to whether or not I was even going to put this out because the whole trip didn't happen. Uh, and then some of the audio in this sounds really funny to me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's uh, it's like there's no bass in it. I think there was a setting that got changed in my damn camera again. Uh, so yeah, guys, we'll be back to our regular schedule, uh, at this point. So the next video today is Tuesday. The next video should be out on Friday. Uh, and I've got some good stuff, some good ideas that I came up with, uh, to do that doesn't necessarily involve the truck. So sometimes things don't turn out the way as they should. And then I felt like I just gave up a little bit too soon on this one, uh, because usually I don't do that, but the, the exhaust being kind of screwed up, like I just wasn't ready for this trip, even though I knew it was coming. And there was a couple of other major things that I wanted to get done to the truck before I took it on another very, very long trip like this. Uh, and those things didn't happen. So once we get back to the truck, we'll get those other things done. And then we'll once again, we'll hit the road and do a nice long adventure uh, at that point. And then... I don't have a particular destination. I don't have to go west uh, and see uh, a lot of the same things that I've seen before. Because I have seen the Grand Canyon, but I didn't get to see it with my wife. And then my wife went and saw it without me. Uh, but she had a good time, so that's good for her. But anyways, y'all, uh, yeah, we'll be back at it. And that truck can, at this point, just suck it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.